just before midnight in Toronto. The roads are clear. It's a good night. Abrams towing lead operator John Allen is on the road. But he's not en route to a wreck. We've done uh, boats and tanks, a few uh, armor personnel carriers. Tonight, he's heading to catch a plane. Doing an uh, airplane move, escorting the Avro Arrow, a life-size model of the original from Pearson Airport to Edenville Airport. We're going to begin this thing putting a uh, museum up there for display. Oh, there it is. This thing is huge. Developed in the 50s, Canada's Avro CF-105 Aero fighter jet was one of the most advanced aircraft of its time, reaching almost three times the speed of sound. But when the government cancelled the Aero program, all planes and engines were ordered to be scrapped. Today, there are just two full-scale replicas. It's going to be quite the trip tonight. It's way more massive than I ever thought it was going to be. And one replica... Here's where the action starts, guys. ...is going to a new home. Hey, how many years of experience among us? Hundreds. John's main job will be to unload the model at the other end. He'll be working alongside a crew of heavy transport experts. Everybody has a responsibility here to ensure that this thing goes off without a hitch. If there's something you see that you're worried about, the universal call is stop, stop, stop. OK, let's have a safe trip. All right. Thank you. It's, it's go time. It's rolling, boys. All right, we're falling out now. You're looking good here, Steve. The Edenvale Aerodrome is 100 kilometers north, but the convoy will travel at a crawl, taking six full hours. It's a pretty big ordeal, you know, moving an airplane through the city streets. Heading, heading. 28 feet wide, so we're taking up almost three lanes here. And the road only narrows as they weave northward. So John will keep a careful eye on the load ahead. Just in case there's an issue, mainly needed for the morning for the offload. They figure they might need a wrecker. Is a clearance. Oh, well, you're close. Okay, just easy, easy, easy. You're clearing the fine. The only thing we can do here is just go slow. We got spotters on the left side, we got spotters on the right side. Okay, Steve, keep her like that. You're gonna clear that fine. But early into the journey, one spotter. Stop, stop, stop. Sounds the alarm. There's something going on with the wings. Something don't look right. Hold on. OK, what are we doing? Uh, I don't think this is good. On Airport Road north of Toronto, John Allen's Avro Aero Convoy is grounded. The ailerons, which is the flaps on the back of the wings, they flipped over the wings. I was watching them go up and down, and all of a sudden, all that I felt was kaboom. I was like, OK, did I hit something? The model's folded wings have been bouncing and flapping in the wind, risking damage to the structure. Is there a way to hook a uh, strap there? Play it around, go down to the I-beam, ratchet it a bit. I have an island right here. We ran some straps down, tied them down nice and secure. That'll work just the same. Well, right here? Yeah, that's good. Actually, stop it from bouncing over, for yeah. sure. Okay. Okay, let's get the show back in the road. Now, they need to make up for lost time. Okay, Steve, you're gonna bring it back to the right. We're running out of time here. We gotta get this thing moving. 
hopefully we don't run into any more problems and our next stop will be uh, at its new home. The next morning, at the Edenvale Aerodrome. This thing's amazing. This is just awesome piece of history. The Canadian Air and Space Conservancy's newest exhibit has arrived. It's very fragile. Now John Allen needs to get it safely unloaded and ready for display. There's no margin of error. You can't drop it and damage it and just go buy a new one. The last thing I want is to drop this thing. You'll see my name in the history books. John Allen destroyed Canadian history here. You know, I don't need that to happen. Our plan is to pick up the back end, drop this on the ground, and then uh, pick up the front, pull the trailer out, and then get the front landing gear put in place. I'll keep walking it up bit by bit. You just watch if you see something going wrong. Yes. All right. Just trying to bring it up nice and straight. Slowly lifting it. World's biggest kite. Tie a big old steel string to it. Nice windy day, it's gone. Okay, this is uh... Easy. That's good. Got this thing up in the air. Thankfully, it came up beautiful. The trailer is clear. Good there. Oh, we're clear, awesome. And the Avro has officially landed. And uh, I think we're done. Plane sitting on the ground, job's done. And I was just more than happy to be involved in this move. Thank you, John. All right. It's a cool feeling to be involved in moving and preserving the piece of Canadian history.